Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working with this beautiful rainbow snippet roll that I had Jeannie Toth make me. I'm going to link her info and her Facebook page in the description so if you want to get you one. Um, I actually specially ordered this. She makes so many different beautiful ones but I was like, hey, can you make a rainbow one for me? Um, because I'm doing that the promises of god journal and it's all rainbow and theme and um i know i said we was going to do start to finish i don't enjoy making these and i wanted one <laughs> in the journal so um i'm sure there's plenty of tutorials out there it's called the snippet roll um but i don't like making them i don't find them fun i find them complicated it takes me hours to accomplish so i'm just going to use hearts <laughs> And hopefully everybody's okay with that. So I already cut down a piece to the size that I wanted and um, I made it the length of my page and we're gonna glue that down and luckily I've had my fabric tack hanging upside down for a few seconds so we don't have to wait on that. Now I gotta get the glue off my hand though. So I'm just gonna put some glue at the top of my page and then again at the bottom of my page about where I'm going to glue it down. And clearly I didn't cut it short enough. And let's just pull it down some. I'm okay with it hanging off a little bit on the top and the bottom. Okay, so once that dries it's going to act as a belly band there. And then I picked up some pieces picked out some pieces that I think I like um, on gluing on top of the belly band just to embellish it a little bit more and this is some sort of embroidery piece I think I don't know somebody sent it to me that's all I know <laughs> it's pretty somebody sent it to me and I want to use it and I want to glue this bow on top you can get these on Amazon I think they're like Six dollars for fifty, I think, something like that. And then we have this uh, butterfly that uh, Jeannie Toth sent me along with uh, the belly band. It's a cute little sticker here. And I'm gonna glue that down. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the wings. Glue that down right about there. And then I have some of this, um, this bling stuff. And it does, it comes in a roll. I don't know where you get it. But I like it. <laughs> I like the rainbow bling. But anyways, it's sticky on the back. And I was going to put that. No, I'm not sure. I think there. And then I have this other little flower embroidery type piece. And again, I don't know, I don't really know much about it. I got it sent to me again. Um, and this little bling flower piece. These I believe you can get at Hobby Lobby. I do believe I've seen, on a, seen it on their website and at Hobby Lobby. So I got these little flowers. Um, I bought a bunch of ribbon off of marketplace and um, these were in the huge boxes that I got a ribbon <laughs> so I wanted that there wait a second is that where that went that's what we're gonna go with because if it didn't go there I don't remember where it was supposed to go I tried to decide off camera I got this little daisy these things come in a roll um, on Amazon there. I forget what you need to really type in to find them. I just type in daisies. Uh, daisy, what's it called? Um, I'm putting a little piece of bling in the center of that daisy. And so that's my belly band. What are these called? It's not ribbon. Anyways. I don't know. 
but it usually comes on a roll, like a huge strip of them or something. Anyways, but that'll act as our belly band. We'll tuck a journal card underneath it or something, or something. So we got that accomplished, and then let's see, do we have time? Yeah, we got plenty of time. So the way that I cut that belly band, I ended up with um, this leftover small piece, and I thought we could make a fabric flip out of it. So I pulled um, this big, huge, like lace piece. I'm gonna put some fabric tack on the edge of this top edge and then kind of down the side that's the wrong side <laughs> I've done that in my last video too I don't know why I keep doing that this one I'm gonna have to do something about and I don't have any napkins because I don't ever do this not off ca camera I don't know what my issue is lately anyways oh well let's just do it that way let's just pull it over a little bit maybe further than <laughs> Further than originally planned. Okay. Wait a second. Did I already do this wrong? Okay. Luckily, fabric tag doesn't stick down too quickly. I have this uh, leftover piece of a doily. And it was dyed blue. And put some glue on it. Stick it down right about like so. Then we're going to stick this piece down. Right there. Okay. And I do believe that I messed up again. I had wanted this piece underneath this piece. Well, maybe we're just going to veto that green piece. Because, <laughs> let's see here. Do I still want this piece there? I think so. We're still going to do the red piece here. Just a piece of fabric that I had. I still have. Don't know why I said had. Still have it. Put some glue there. Kind of glue that down. I know that I want this embroidery piece. Right about here. And I want this embroidery butterfly. In this corner and you don't have to put all this stuff on a fabric flip I just like it so that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna put this lace up there you could sew this if you wanted I don't want to I just don't want to I don't have a reason for it it's just I don't want to pull my sewing machine out right now and so it's quicker and easier this way Okay, and then I'd originally planned on putting that there, but now I have another idea and I want to try it, so. Possibly taking this, I guess it's by the brand Crown, this roll of sparkly stuff. Let's see here, where's my scissors? I actually have them in the other room. <laughs> Oftentimes, whenever I feel bad, I do not hang out in my own room. So, a lot of my craft supplies end up in my mother's living room. <laughs> so, she's thrilled about it, I'm sure. She really doesn't mind me having my craft supplies everywhere. As long as I'm having fun, that's kind of what matters to her. OK. 
Okay. I mean, I thought about putting this a purpley flower up there with like a piece of bling in the center, which I've lost the piece of bling that I had pulled out. And, but that's what we're going to do. I'll find another piece. Yeah, I was watching Gail Gastinelli make fabric flips the other day, and my brother's looking at it like, I don't understand art. He's like, I just don't even understand it. <laughs> and he's, I showed him my one of my journals that I'm working on, and he called it a hobo's journal. <laughs> it's quite hilarious, I think. Other people might find it to be rude, but we pester each other. That's what family does. Okay found another piece of bling and found my scissors to be able to trim. But yeah, that true junk journal that I'm working on, he's like, that's, okay, that's a, that's a definitely a hobo's journal. And um, he, my dad looked at him and said, well, where does a hobo get all their supplies? And he's like, from the trash, exactly my point. Well, what can I say? I like it. I think it's wonderful art. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to I'm really excited about it. I'm going to have a whole lot of fun, like painting and drawing and writing in it, whether they think it's worth it or not. I'm not the slightest a bit offended by their comments. I think they're hilarious. Let's find a page to glue this down to. You want to? We got time. I mean, we got like a whole four minutes, so. Or maybe three. Okay, I got a lot of glue there. I just want to make sure I'm not going to get it on the back of my journal, or in front of my journal. Okay, so we have quite a lot of stuff over here on this side. pages together. That's not okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. If you hadn't seen my last video, I like to put at least four pages in between. Wow, that's a big fabric clip. Um, that's okay. I'm okay with it. It's gonna cover a whole page, but I'm fine with it. And it'll hang off the edge too. That's nice. Um, anyways, five pages between each decorated page at least. And it just seems to work best with my decorating style. I really like that there. Do I want, though, maybe it to be... Let's see here. I'm trying to find the other side. Do I maybe want it... Is this that same page? I think so. I could possibly put it, like, here. No, 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 no. I mean, it's okay there. It's also really nice if I can start blue. sitting there. I think I like it against the blue better. Let's go back to the blue. Don't want that blue. I think I like this blue. I think that's what we're going to go with. I mean, it looks great kind of anywhere. <laughs> It's a tough decision, I'm not going to lie. Do I want it against a green? I just, I think I like blue. So we just put some glue at the top of our page. I 
And we're going to stick it down. Oh, if I pull it up like that, then the lace is going to stick out instead of the uh, fabric at the bottom. How nice is that? I'll show you. See? Look, it sticks out. It's so cute. Okay, so we got a belly band and a fabric flip accomplished. I feel like in a whole 15 minutes, I feel like that is an accomplishment. So there's that one. And then there's that one. How fun is that? It's so colorful. Thank you, Jeannie Toth, for uh, making me that snippet roll. I'm really enjoying it. Even my niece, she's like, I need this in my journal. And I was planning on doing the lighter colored one, but she's like, no, I need this one. And I'm like, well, there's plenty. So Auntie will do her best to put it in that journal. So she's thrilled about it and I'm thrilled about it. And um, if you don't like making snippet rolls, but you really want one, contact Jeannie Toth. Um, I'll leave her Facebook page um, in the description. And and that's that's all I have for you. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys are having a great and wonderful blessed day. I'm having a wonderful day. It's been a fun day. So bye guys.